Okay, hi everybody. Um, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to uh, rate your images for your final portfolio options folder. Um, I'll also mention uh, about the labels, because so I'll be putting labels on them, so you'll be seeing that when I reshare the folder with you. And I'll also just mention keywords as well. All right, so I have my um, final portfolio options folder right here on my desktop. I just find it easier for me to work with things if I put them onto my desktop first. Uh, but you can use Bridge to navigate anywhere on your computer or to an external portable hard drive. So you see I have this My Passport for Mac down here plugged in. So I'll show you how to get to that also if your images are on there. All right, so first thing I'm going to do is open up Bridge, which I, is just off your viewing screen there. So I've got Bridge open. And right now it is looking at my desktop folder. So everything that we're seeing right here is just what's sitting right over here on my desktop, which is exactly where I need to go. But if I need to navigate somewhere else, I can go back to up here on the path, computer. If I hit computer, it's either my hard drive or there's my portable um, plugged in hard drive. So if I want to navigate to that, I can just double click on that and there's all my files and folders and so forth in there. All right, so um, you can have your final portfolio options folder anywhere um, on your computer or on your portable hard drive or flash drive and you can use Bridge to navigate to, to that. All right, um, or like I said, if it's easier, um, put it onto your desktop. All right, so to get back to my desktop now, I hit uh, my computer, which gives me these options here. Oh, sorry, I hit my Mac, my hard drive instead of my portable hard drive. It gives me these options here, and I need to scroll down to users, and then to me, and then I'm going to find my desktop, or I could find something in my documents, or in my downloads, um, or other options. Okay. So uh, let's go to desktop. And I'm going to double click on that and find that portfolio, final portfolio options folder and double click on that to open up and I can view the images, the files um, that are within that folder. So I've got, I don't know, it's like 13 or 14 images in here of uh, something that I shot the other day. So I'm just going to go through and try and rate these now. All right, and so this is um, what you want to do thinking about what you want to include in that final portfolio. So we've added a bunch of things in through the three sets of um, portfolio images. All right, and now we need to hone it down to what are the most cohesive um, 15 to 20 images that will make up the final portfolio. Okay. Another way that I, you can also use this is to rate the images as to figure out which ones you like, like what do I like, what don't I like. Um, generally I don't delete pictures, I just don't rate them very high and then I can just find the ones that I've given a 4 or 5 to that I really want to look at. So this is super easy. Um, star ratings are right here. Um, as I put my cursor over those stars, they fill in and um, and then you can just click on that. So if I want to give this one, uh, this one's kind of a weird one. Let's give this a three star. Um, it's kind of an overview. Though. I'm going to give that a four star. Actually, it's kind of an overview of the of the sculpture that's um, on its way out. Okay, um, I can click on this image. I like this one, so this is going to get a five star. Uh, I think this is also going to get a five star. So I'm just clicking on the fifth star to make it a five star. If I want to make something a two star, I go over to put my cursor on the two star, click on the two star. Okay. You can also go up to label on the very top, which I don't think it's showing up on your screen, but if I do the drop down that should show hopefully. And you can do star ratings there. You also find the color labels there. And I'm going to be putting on a green approved label for ones that I agree with that yes you yes you picked up for your final portfolio and I agree it should be included or I might give you a blue one which is review which means think about it maybe I'm not sure about it maybe it's one that you didn't have highly rated that I think would be an interesting um, addition into the portfolio so I want you to kind of reconsider and maybe think about that okay um, also you know given the portfolio is your portfolio so I'd like to see like you know what it is you want to do so I'm just gonna quickly go ahead and um, finish rating these so I'm just gonna go back click on the picture um, that's not that great I'm just gonna give that like a one star I'm not crazy about that one um, this one's not bad so we'll give that a four this is okay also that's a five um, Let's see, that one's not such a great one, so it can have a one, or it can have no stars also, um, like that one, so it's going to be a five, I like that one, that's going to be a five also, 
um, here I have an option. So if I hold down my command key, if I'm using an a, a, a Apple computer, or your control key if you're using a PC, you can then click on a second or third or fourth one and see them both together. So it's a good way to compare the pictures if you're not sure if there's something similar um, and we're not sure like which one. I think I'm leaning more towards this close-up one, which is, of course, why I took that. So I'm going to give this one... Uh, I want to you know, keep it under consideration. I'm going to give that a 4. Notice this gave me both 4, so I'm going to make sure I have a 5 on that one because they were both highlighted, so I was trying to give them both 4s at the same time. Okay, um, this one's cool too, but I have another similar one. I like that one as much. That's a 3, and this is going to be a 5, and I think that's it. Okay, so um, I can then also look at them this way. If we go over to this little filter here, icon, we can do a drop down and I can look at, show me all the five star pictures in this in this folder that I'm looking at now. So I can kind of get an idea now of like what this portfolio might look like and does it tell the story that I want it to tell and actually that looks pretty good. Okay, I could also just go ahead and look at what are four and five stars. So just to see like, well what am I, what, what if I add my kind of runner ups into that mix, what does that look like? Um, and that's nice except for that one that's kind of a dupe in a way, um, but I'd like it because it adds this one in, so I might end up changing that. Okay. So what I'm going to do is end up putting a label on these um, like this. So when you see this folder come back to you, you're going to see the, your stars are still there, but I'm going to go ahead and add a green label for approve. I want to approve that one also, and like that, or I might have something such as, um, you know, like the blue to like review, think about, re rethink about these. Maybe we're not sure. I want you to reconsider what you're thinking about. Okay. Um, another good way to organize and um, be able to find your files, retrieve them and store them is not only just doing your star rating so you can find all that, but adding a keyword. So the keywords show up over here. Normally I have this showing up, the metadata. Um, but if you want, you can also add keywords to your images. So I'm going to command all, I'm going to do a command A to select all of these. And I'm going to add this into this one here, which is Ivana's Invitation, which is the, what the name of this sculpture um, is called as it's um, slowly decomposing. Right. So now I have those all locked in. So when I <coughs> sort for all of Ivana's Invitation, I can find all of these pictures will be included in all the previous pictures that I've taken with that. Um, you can also add other ones in there. If you want to add one, there's a little plus sign down here that can add a new keyword. Right. If you notice also I have some keywords here and then they're like something underneath there. Um, here's to do a sub keyword is that icon right there with a the little um, arrow down and the plus there. So again, like Bridge is, is a great program to um, organize your photos, keyword them, rate them, and such. Right? Um, okay, so once you've done um, putting your rating, your star ratings on, you're going to send that, share that folder with me. I'll uh, put the labels on and reshare that, and we'll be on our way to finishing up that final portfolio. Thanks a lot.